<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to Brasco. Okay, see it Anyway. It's a tree! <laughs> I'm Amari Giacomo. Dark is here to voice act the merch characters. And today we're gonna go exploring. We're not gonna go do the quest for the liz the lizard slash bird people. Not quite yet. Oh. I can't scream about lizards. Not quite yet. Figure we could use having a couple levels or something. That and I mean... that and seeing more dialogue from Cutron because you know he has that stuff. Yes, I suppose. Dude has one spell, Fireball, but he's not afraid to use it. Oh, I guess he has Magic Missile. He's a nice caster. You say that like I'm supposed to automatically know what that is. Well, it has caster in the name. I mean, sure. But caster doesn't automatically mean wizard. Fair enough. Cartilage. Oh god, he's like me. Yep. Oh no, he's a stickler for details. Yep. However, that is not going to give me a reason to walk back my fury over the phrase laser bridge and laser TNT. <laughs> Did that was higher than. Hmm, back this way... There we go. Check out. And now we're here. More shortcuts. Hmm. Useful. Ready. And now we can go not there. Ah, I see. We can grab that. A waste. Okay, so I can't really go that way, but I can go this way if I over type everything else. I'm gonna put it like that. <laughs> This time. Okay. Sure, but thank you, Captain Obvious. The guns. Well, obviously, because fuck you, mate. Really? Listen, there's a difference between. Being angry at extremely... Uh, mm. is, is this thing just being Captain Obvious? I mean, yes, they are indeed resilient. Please. 
No, I think it's more like Captain Nitpicky. Also, there's a difference between being aggravated as all get out over. <laughs> Earth digging tortoise. I mean, it's not exactly far out. Well, well, we're here. There's a difference between being extremely upset over blatantly bad phrases like laser bridge and laser TNT. Oh boy. Uh, and. Uh, being nitpicky over a game giving up bird guns. Two of them. This will be coming back later. Is oh. There a cat demanding to be let in. What do we have here? Ah, you there. What are you doing here? I'm terribly sorry to disturb your experience, but I have questions of the utmost importance. Hmm? Huh? But where are my manners? My name is Baxter Natty. I'm a moderator and supervisor for Crossworlds. May I ask your name? Hmm. Yeah. A lovely name. But let us get to the matter at hand, shall we? I was just inspecting the area to make sure it all was in proper order. I came across this object here. Now, this particular peculiar little bugger does not show up in my database. All assets in the game world are to be registered to avoid any disturbance of player experience. Now, my humble assumption is that our asset team just missed adding these new items. A common oversight, I regret to say. Hmm. Now, all I need to know is if you are perhaps involved in a quest that this object is part of. Mm-hmm. As I thought, this explains a lot. A report must still be made. Mm. Thank you for your cooperation, Lady Leah. Farewell. Bye. The plot begins again. Guess we'll be able to deliver that. Actually, can we? Uh, now we still need to kill some things and collect some more things. Uh, we'll get that. Door. Speaking of which... It is exactly what we need to collect. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Excuse me for a second. So, let's wait then. No, like we can open this yet. Oh, I'm done. We know. What am I done? Now we just need to kill one more team. Tim. That shouldn't be too difficult. Oh boy, what does he have to say about Tim? Good question. Cat. I need to see that screen, cat. <laughs> so now you get to be on my lap, whether you like it or not. Alright, I can go up here now. Activate that. And now I can go all the way around. 
Picos puzzle solving. Yay! Uh, that was puzzle. You for a given value of puzzle is just a bit of performing. That reminds me. Brain no worky. Not quite. Something tells me I'm not supposed to do it this way. But is that gonna stop you? No. Not at all. Nope. 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 Oh well. Now we can jump down here. Which lets us go over here. Which lets us go. Bring me the coin. I guess that's for another quest or something. Uh -huh. Well, it's unlocked now. Okay. So why do we never see players fighting anything? Fighting anything, huh? Good question. Seems to me a terrible oversight if you can basically just play through the whole game without fighting anything. Or I mean, your player base can apparently. I mean, if you're skilled enough. Technically, you can beat the bosses and just do the dungeons. I don't think skilled is the right word. Masochistic, maybe. Interesting facts about vultures. Do a lot of them involve bodily fluids. I rather not mention those. Understand that one. No shortcuts. I am glad that most of my random knowledge mostly consists of things that are hurdy. <laughs> Called guns. Oops. And tanks. And ships. And planes. I'm not sure that was how I was supposed to get that, but I don't care. Who cares? Sorry, that does mean I'm gonna have to... around again. <laughs> At least I don't think I made another shortcut to go back up there. But I probably didn't use for what. And now this way, this way. Way and there we got the thing. Boop. You can push the vultures. Yes, because they're not naturally hostile. Which means you can kill them. By just pushing them off the ledge, without ever actually aggroing them. Well, they fly, so probably not. Well, only one way to find out. Uh, no, they, they, they'll try to get back in their position. Yeah. That is disappointing. Makes sense, though. You know, I should probably actually fight more things. I haven't leveled up a single time. Well, you still need to fight Tim. 
All right. The uh, crawling, sliding, whatever pile of fico matter known as Tim. Oh, I discovered their weakness by the way. What? If you trigger them with fire, they become too weak to they become weak to run them elemental. Nothing to say about Tim, Captain Obvious. Apparently not. Then again, well, would you even say about that? The f even is that? Mm, yeah, I guess that would be an option. Hmm. Totalian purpose. It doesn't count unless you call it. More shortcuts and more shortcuts. No, Lord. More shortcuts. Button. Hmm. I'm still missing some things here. Should go fight some things. I was supposed to be leveling, but oh well. But I can do that off cam. I can do that off camera anyway. I mostly wanted to get the conversations from the Cicron on screen. This way. This way. And this way. There we go. Yay! With also more shortcuts. Does this actually lead anywhere? Only places we're already we've already been to, so We can use this, which leads uh, somewhere. If it's over here, which leads over here. Oh, hey, one we can actually. Yeah, that certainly took some time to get here. Puzzle <laughs> so long, he actually commented on it. Right side, we got most of the map. Well, nah. we also got some loot. Like this, which is... Uh, what does Trainer even do? Um, I would 
black uh, uh, non status is it uh, there it is oh i see that's probably useful yes I think I'll keep it. No better armor yet, huh? Or boots. Uh, we'll manage. Alright, I guess we can go to the maroon tree. Tree! It's a tree! Stop. It's a lizard! Stop, human! You need a pass from Eldress if you want to enter cave! Hmm. Is that the pass? The human must be here to help defeat Sunderworld! Mm -hmm. Please enter cave and defeat all Sunderworld! That is all! Mm -hmm. Wait! Shadow almost forgot! There is very strong red Sunworm in cave! Please defeat that world, most important, because very dangerous to me. Red Sandworm would also drop strange item. Show me item to prove you defeat that red Sandworm, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, look, human. What a lighter fellow, indeed. Oh, wow, it's not the instance? Cave time! Wait, there's running water down here? Mm hmm. That's weird, considering there are lakes out there, you'd think everything would flood. I suppose you might go by carefully crafting the area somehow? Hmm. Ah. So that was the reason to take that side path. We found the place. That's not a sandworm, it's a pile of fecal matter, but okay. Not that I think about it, you can look at your companion for. ideas on how to attack them. <laughs> hmm. Okay, first couple of Tims. What's up with the name anyway? Yeah. But that's why he didn't say anything out there. Hmm. Yeah. It this is a lot easier to deal when you know what to do. I had so much trouble my, on my first playthrough. Hmm. About this way. Yeah, no surprise there. So much easier. That should be all for this level, right? Wait, did you know that worms have five hearts? Like, real earthworms do? I mean, they're not quite as complex as human hearts, but still. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder about the anatomy of these sandworms. Mm -mm. No? <laughs> Gee, big surprise. Oh. I see.
This feels like the big one. No. Thank you, Captain Obvious. We go. Yeah, that was not the easiest. You're fine. Tim's residue. Team residue. I suppose the team residue is a strange item to guard wants to see, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is that a direct link? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shetty! Hi! Remember? Wait, what's that? I'm Katron. Oh, you're the other member from the first colors, no? Yeah, that's me. Trippy, so you'll join our party, are we? Yes, in fact. So, where are you two right now? And I'm currently in the Maroon Tree Cave. Maroon Tree Cave. Wait, you started that quest already? Mm -hmm. It looks like we almost finished it. Oh man, I wanted to do that quest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had that planned. No, it's fine. What's the problem? I'll quickly rush through that quest myself. You do your sweet for me, Deco. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. Arriba. Hi. Ah, I feel bad now. Mm -hmm. Uh, you mean I don't have to? Well, let's just go back to the cave entrance and sell the item to the guard. I think the cave interior is instant, so we might be able to meet Emily outside. Mm hmm. Hey, I level up! Yay! Alright, we can use this, can't we? <laughs> I forgot I had a thing to deliver. Uh, what's it here? No, not that one. Rumbari Dusty Path. Okay, it's right over here. There you are. Welcome back, Leah. 
Uh, you f f finished with the survey? Mm-hmm. Splendid! Thank you so, so, so much again. Mm. Uh, oh, um, so, so, so sorry. I, I just get excited sometimes. But don't worry about it. You did your part, part just fine. Mm. Take this. I, I have to be somewhere else. I'll take the XP. Two levels, in fact. Because we'll be with LD. Not complaining. Little shit. That reminds me. Mm. Oh yeah, I can deliver that now. Dun, dun. Oh well. I think I don't think. The cat says no. Him. Yeah, the cat won't give him my arm back. Human! Did you get on sandworm? Hmm. It said you have a strange item. Please give me. Be impressed with me. Strange item, very good for Maroon 3. Putting in Earth helps to grow. Hmm. So it's fertilizer. <laughs> Wait, so I guess that stuff was... Dung. Uh... Good thing we got rid of it. Human! Please send me pass. Uh... I'm Mike, not for Eldris. You can now go and get Shiny Earth. Thanks a lot for help. Hmm. Thank you, man. Thank you. Gotcha, you little runaways. Hi. Hi, Emily. It's nice to finally meet you. Hey, we. Nice to meet you, too. And again, sorry we didn't wait for you. Oh, really, it's fine. We never made any plans anyway. And I can understand why you'd play ahead. I've been offline for quite some time. It's just that I really had to wrap up everything for that project. Gosh, studies keeping you busy, huh? Oui, oui, and you don't even know half of the story yet. Isn't that right, Liam? Mm-hmm. Anyway, work is over now, and I've got plenty of free time. I'm so ready! I'll try my best to beat that cave as quickly as possible. I suggest we meet... I suggest we meet in... Baki Coom in front of the quest hub once you're done. Sound good? Ah oui, très bien. See you soon. Bye. Wow, she sure is full of energy. Yeah. That's the word for it. Anyway, there's no reason to hurry, but I guess we can slowly head back to Baki Coom, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go then. Yes, let's go. Full of energy is a word for it. Also, I'm pretty sure the sandworms know you're coming with how loud that guy shouts. <laughs> I mean, you are supposed to kill them, so it's probably fine. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro. Hi. Uh, this mistake again. <laughs> yeah, you're back again. And do I smell some nice meat and wood there? Mm-hmm. Yes, that looks awesome! Let me have another try right now! Mm-hmm. 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 This is... It's... Uh, absolutely perfect! The texture, the aroma! It is the perfect steak! Mm. Thank you so much, girl. It never would have worked without those ingredients you brought me. Oh. Here, I'll give you the first batch of steaks to enjoy. You can get as many as you want from my boat here, as long as you bring the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Bye. I, 14 I, XP. 
You know, I genuinely expected that quest to span the entire game. You're not wrong. I, I actually expected that too. Preemptive mm. debugging. What a, what, what a quest name. I know, right? It's also without level. So it is. And so is that one, but that one doesn't really matter because it's not a combat quest. Focus, focus. Yeah, it's just the one for analyzing all the Oh, program. I just, yeah, I see level 50. Yeah, but again, it's just analyze stuff, so... It's punch stuff. Yeah, like plants and stuff. Yeah, punch stuff, the quest. Hibiki's gonna quest. <laughs> well, no, hers would be make friends with everybody. Yeah. Guess we might as well go to the Hermes house. It should be easy enough anyway. Hi there, fella! Welcome to the Hermit's house! Hi! You have been sent by Mr. Summers, Mrs. Summers to help with our broken generator. Man, we were getting worried. The without a generator, this room will be pretty chilly soon. And what's the point of it then? Hmm... I know, right? So we need some materials to fix that thing, and most of them are pretty far away. We're stuck refined metal. There are traders in Bergen who can refine it from cheaper metal with some other stuff. This one is metal gears from the temple mine. And some chunks of Ferriganites for the cooling. You should find that it's not far from here. Lastly, we need some fuel. It generator runs on arid lumber, which only grows in Maroon, Maroon Valley. Hmm. So, yeah, it's quite a lot. Those generators sure aren't simple campfires. You got everything? Mm hmm. Alright, hope to see you soon, before we're all icicles in here. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, it's you. I'm from that look on your face. I guess you got all the stuff that we need for the repairs. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Now I'll just use it to make a repair kit with everything you need. Give me a second. I can guarantee the generator can take more than just air and wood. Probably. And that's it. Take this, go through the door behind me, and just jam it into the generator in the basement. Mm-hmm. Well, you will also need to get through some security barriers that appear shortly after the generator broke. Huh? Don't ask me what powers them and why they are protecting a damaged generator. The Hermes must have had some crazy ideas about interior design back in his time. Ah. It is called the Hermes house. My. Don't mind it. Well, that's one of them. No. I need to hit. You're too slow. All right. Now for number three. You know, wouldn't it be simple to like, wait a minute, let them all respawn, and then melt them all at once? Yeah, probably. I have a good idea every now and then. Oh. I think I was supposed to not let that last one melt. Probably not. There we there go. You go. Okay. Well, that's wow. nice. That works fast. Oh, I see. Hey, the hero? We got power again and everything's running smoothly. Amazing! Hmm. I already sent a message back to Mr. Summers. So you can claim your reward. 
Also, special thanks, we will give you a small discount on all our drinks. Hmm. I hope to see you around more often. Bye! And coming back here. Probably not. We are, however, going to go see Mrs. Summers. For that reward. Mm -hmm. Hi! We'll come back. Another job well done, I see. Hmm. The road through Bergen Trail would have become much more arduous without your deed. We did not stop by the Hermes house when we went up. We didn't even pass it by. Hmm. Here, take your reward. We will stay in contact. Bye! So the details aren't important. What matters is we got paid. Yeah, also we should probably level up. Possibly. Hmm, but then what, I wonder? Um, hurdy stuff. Well, yes. That could be a help. Hurdy stuff like that. I might actually just wait two more levels to get this. <laughs> Of course, I could also head for this one. I tend to use both, so it's a bit difficult. Oh, right. Little detail. Don't worry about it, it's just a little detail. We almost filled up this tree. It's what I would say if I didn't know we're probably going to unlock the this thing soon. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um I think that's good enough. Back to Baki Kun. Back place. Yeah, the thing and the stuff. With the lizards. Yep. Here we are. Seems like Emily is still busy with the maroon tree cave. I guess I'll have a look around the market. Feel free to join me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hmm, are you looking for my friend? Oh. He's not here. I plan to meet him soon, though. Mm. I've heard you've been dueling, hmm? Mm-hmm. And you even managed to defeat him. He was impressed. Hmm. Anyways, he talks a lot about you. Almost makes me jealous. Hmm. Hmm. A girl a few words, aren't you? It looks like you don't appreciate his attention. Mm-mm. What can I say? That's just him. Always obsessed with strangers, especially spheromancers. Mm. So you'd rather avoid him, right? Better leave then before he runs into you. Mm. Bye. Bye. It's like, nope. Time to go. Ah, there you are. I was just browsing consumables. Oh yeah, consumables, that's a thing. It's kind of funny how they decorate it with all those fruits you can't actually buy, isn't it? Hmm. Mm. Ah, that reminds me. I heard you can still count with your fingers, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, hmm. It's actually quite amazing how precisely they manage to synchronize your dexterity. That means you can move your fingers as much as you could in real life. Want to give it a try? Mm hmm. Huh? Try this. Hmm. Now this. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> now this. <laughs> <laughs> Of course you try. <laughs> mm. 
Now, that one isn't for everybody. Anyway, since you can mimic things with your hands, maybe sign language would be an option for communication. Hmm. Well, I guess it'd be a bother to learn it. Also, I guess most other players don't know sign language either. Hmm. We really wouldn't have this problem if they'd simply support text-based communication. But they removed it all because of immersion. People have complained about this before. Hmm. Hmm. I did it! Uh, I did uh, it! I defeated the Ripworm! Finally! I feel like she had a bad time. Congratulations! But man, those worms were annoying. It's hard to punch. I guess projectiles would have been more feasible. I'm a pentafist, no? What do you think my fist is for? Well, oh. anyway, I'll head back to Baki Kum now. See you soon. Bye. Okie dokie. Let's go back to the quest hub then. Mm. Uh, is something the matter, Leah? Mm. Anyway, let's just go, okay? <laughs> the face of, I already know how this is gonna end. That reminds me. Oh, yeah, there are quests in this. Aria. You probably grab them. <clears throat> Hi. He's a big boy. I greet you, Seeker. The proud explorers of the arid breeze are honored by your visit. My name is Jonathan Lorenzo Maya El Valente El Nasa, the leader of our company of Braves. What a name. And I got it right on first try. Leah? Don't worry. My friends and I, my friend, my friends, to my friends, I'm just Joel Meyer, and everyone is a friend of mine, especially a pretty seeker like yourself. Oh, hi. It would please me to listen to the story of your exploit, seeker. But first, we must water our accomplishments. See, a place of great importance in ancient society is almost in our reach. After all these years of searching. Mm hmm. And we know the final piece that would complete this puzzle. It must only be collected now. So, young seeker, do you want to claim that honor? Mm-hmm. Poland, with a seeker like you by our side, I can almost taste the juices of success. Mm. The object we need is a stone tablet with ancient inscriptions, and a map of the area in the old times. However, it has been claimed by a pack of dastardly driller tortoises. Mm. Worse, they are of the stubborn and cowardly kind. They will just hide under their rocks and never move. But fret not, we have requested a mobile explosion dispenser from our friends in Bergen. With that apparatus, you'll be able to clear out their cave and claim the tablet. Hmm. We will prepare some of our best tea for your return. Bye. <clears throat> right. Time to not have fun. Chad, try to trace. Man, sometimes they do overpromote, I guess. Speaking of which, hi. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was trying to get past his appearance. <laughs> ah, Seeker, you are greeted. Much pleasing is felt from heroic presence. Mm. Much useful wisdom could be learned from communication, I dare proclaim with greatest certainty. But as humans like saying, time is of the essential ingredient for early bird. Mm. To honor clever statement, let us swiftly slice core of problem at our hand. Transport with important content is long expected to arrive from Bergen village. It has not. Content very precious and important. Desert dangerous, human following. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Concluding, you, strong seeker, find transport and help it reach us, then get reward, yes? Please. <clears throat> that one hurts. 
Mm-hmm. That good decision. Smart human. Wealth awaits the both of us. Hmm. Such transport along main route from Bergen village to Bakikum. Should be guarded by two employees of generous Baki Bazaar, unless eaten by hungry desert life. Hmm. If still alive, complain about delay. Then help delivery to continue. If eaten, shame. But business must go on. Return for less convenient plan B. Hmm. Bye. Such a pleasant fellow, isn't he? I know, right? Mm. I see a shiny. Look, entry 001, look. Uh, where is mm. uh, some of those? Holy shit, there's so much fucking lore. I know, right? Oh, there it is. Expedition to Sector SOS 03. Tomorrow is the day. The ACF sends us out for another big expedition to one of the SOS sectors. Apparently, it's all war territory. I don't know what they want us to find there, but scrap metal and drain stones to whatever pays the bill, right? The official task is to chart the sector and scan planets when possible. Standard ACF exploration. Something tells me. That is not part of the game. No shit. Platforming. Ew. Platforming. That was just like from a single direction in case you couldn't tell. I mean, I guess we've already done that. But yeah. Bold of you to assume I remember shit. Yeah, that was kind of from the tutorial, so I don't blame you for not remembering. Oh. Don't mind me coming through. In your house, stealing your goods. Um, can't actually climb through. Get it right eventually. And like this, maybe. How is anyone even supposed to get up to this person's stall? I mean, it doesn't appear to be an actual stall either. I'm just saying. Maybe she's just taking a rest. Could you imagine being an oh. NPC uh, city guard and having to put up with, especially in an MMO, put up with player shenanigans all the time? <laughs> yeah, that would be it's... rather awkward, huh? Uh, I'd use the word annoying, but that works too. Interesting mindset. Sprout of space. Well, we got one of those in. Uh... Shit. Are you sure that's a space plant? It doesn't seem very big. <laughs> I miss it. You know, apparently her uh, her song Astro Girl got uh, past I forget how many views and and is rising even after she's graduated. Well, <sighs> oh boy, hang on, let me take a drink real quick. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Blue haired spheromancer. 
So we meet again. How do you get up there? Probably from up there. Th their elevation doesn't seem right. No, it actually fits. Hi. Right. Sorry, he spotted you as you left. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, I'm Kachan. I suppose you know each other? I see you found yourself another party member, Spheromancer. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad to see you progressed this far into the game. It is due time to put your skills to another test. Blue haired Spheromancer, I challenge you to another duel. Yeah. Here I am. Oh no, it's Monsieur Grasshead. <laughs> Do you accept, Spheromancer? Leah. Oh, is it another duel? Come on, Leah. Is there real? There's another beating. <sighs> what is it? You seem less eager this time. Do you accept, Spheromancer? Leah. Seriously, this is stupid. Use her name already. Is this important to you? Well then. Accept the duel. If you earn my respect, I might call you by your name. Mm. Do you accept? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's meet in front of Farrar Temple. I'll be expecting you. Make sure you're make sure to be well prepared. See you soon, Spheromancer. Oh, bother. Sometimes I wonder why I keep up with that oddball. See you around. I'm confused. Who is that? Oh, he's some kind of self-proclaimed self justice guy. Things really highly of Spheromancers. Yeah, kid, he's the rear. I see. What a unique character. Hey, we. He's an idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's time for a party of three. Let's wrap up that quest already so we can finally go to the Fashro Temple. I agree. I guess we should... I guess next we should report to the Eldritch, right? I do think someone should, Johnny. Hmm. <laughs> like, what's not stated? Tronny? Yeah. Written all over his face. I think he did mention they called him that. I don't remember. I for. Who are you? No one who wants to speak, I guess. Here it is. Here he is. Did you defeat the sunworms below my own tree? Mm -hmm. Indeed, I see no on pass. Thank you so much, human. Because of your help, they will live many more years. Now I'll hand you shiny thing for reward. Human now can go to Mystic Statue at Market to receive key to Fashro Temple. Hmm. Shiny Orf. Shai Ulud is not pleased with these excuses for sandworms. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to leave just yet. See? Ah. Oh. I didn't even look at the ledge. I was just looking at the, uh, the ridge. Phoenix feathers. I need a drink. Those are probably both, yes. <sighs> well, after screaming his dialogue. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That doesn't actually open, does it?
No shortcuts. I I can say with almost absolute certainty that if you were to look at a 3D model of Grasshead, uh, his outfit would consist of tight tights, and there's no way you can convince me otherwise. <laughs> no shortcuts. Like he 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 definitely seems like the type. Ooh. I'm inside a building, really. Ow. I'm gonna guess when he dies for that one. Perhaps. Or I, something to chill the uh I completely missed this entrance. Oh no. Oh no. Hang on, I need another drink. Red has drunk what? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Leah. Hey. You have a rare talent that's surprising me, kid. Mm. It seems like I found myself at a dead end yet again. Mm. It's another one, another of those broken items I'm searching for. For my kids. A sword this time. Mm. I have an actual lead this time, but I can't find the next clue. Here, at this rate, it might be too late for me. Mm. Would you be able to help an old man? Hmm. Recommend a level 30. Sure! Thanks, kid. I don't know, know how much this... You don't know how much this means to me at this point. Why? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get right to the point. This time, a broken item is headed somewhere in Maroon Valley. There's a secret passage in the southwest of the area. But to unlock the passage, you have to offer some sort of coin. Ah, so I that's what it was. I don't know what exactly this coin is, but I found out that an NPC somewhere in this village has one. It should be in one of the houses, since I already talked to every NPC in the village. Maybe it's somewhere higher up, or hidden. Mm. At my age, jumping around on houses is a bit too much. This is like Quitter Talk. Mm -hmm. So this is where you could help me. Mm -hmm. Alright, talk to me again if you forget anything. Mm. Oh, off you go then. And don't keep an old man waiting, kid. Mm. You know, he could just say thank you and, and, and send you on your way. Yeah. Twat. Well, in case it wasn't plainly obvious, isn't there? Or when it the ice thing, so yeah, we're not gonna do that just yet. Sounds about right. By the way, Ran, mm -hmm. how long have you been recording this? Oh shit. <laughs> Extra long episode tonight. Uh, well, I hope you all have fun. We'll see you next time. Well, we'll probably <laughs> go do some side quest and maybe the temple. Bye bye!